everyone, welcome. This is Rap, I am Frank Nga Fan, and welcome to my Nanso Franka channel. Charot. But without any tennis of Blank, I am not going to be able to get Franka. Paling of skip ang video, if you didn't just go back to the video, or for the video. I am going to be able to get para hindi mo makurat-kurat natin yung mga bagong magdugo o kurat na. So, if you are ready for this episode, breathe and open your mind for our next plan adventure. Nakapamunta na ba ka sa iyong kaugalingon? Ano kung mag-fill up ka ang forms na uban sex ang ginapangayon at sa uban gender ang ginapangayon? Kung sa din sila, pareha pa ni sila, nagbutang ko og male sa sex, tama ba to? O nagbutang po ito og male sa gender. Okay ra ba to? Okay. Tama ang male sa sex, pero dakong mali ang male sa gender. Ano man, unsa di kalahian sa duha? Unsa di pasabot anang sex? Unsa di pasabot anang gender? Unsa pud nang sexual orientation? Naapud kay na dunggan gender identity, unsa na siya? Kinsa di ang mga bayo tugtumbot? Kinsa sad ang mga bisexual? Unsa una to pag-identify sa mga transgender? Pwede ba mabago akong gender? Kanos, ano ko pwede gamitin ang term na sex o ang term na gender? Kung nakapangunta na kaanis sa inyong kapaling mag posible nga naaani nga video na tubag sa inyong mga pangunta na. Importante nga mahibalaan na ito inyong mga putang para di kayo ta maigno ay naay mga terms nga offensive. Kung andam na ka, oo, ikaw, dali, sugda na natin. So let's start discussing the differences between sex and gender. Oo, sex. Pero dili ni mo ang sex ng ginawa na ko ng araw. Pero okay na mag-imagine ka na hindi na gamit ang ngayon mo. Creative imagination channel. Kaya bitaw, this is the sex that is assigned to you at birth. In short, kung unsa ang nasa tunga or sa iyong center of gravity, muna ay mukhang sex. Kung bingka sa mawab ang nasa iyong mga tunga, pasabot na na, babae ka or female. Kung binayot nga term, erla, attends or latia. Pero kung suman ganit ka na or stick o pasabot ka na male ka or lalaki. Keke, kemuhar or bet. Chaba. Now, sex refers to physical or physiological differences between males and females including both primary sex characteristics katong na sa center of your gravity and secondary characteristics such as height and muscularity. While gender refers to behaviors, personal traits, and social position that society attributes to being female or male. Pero, a person's sex does not always correspond with their gender. Therefore, the terms sex and gender are not interchangeable. Dili ni mo siya pwede kami doon kung kanos alang ni mo trip. Context. Ang bagong panganak na bata na lalaki kay automatically identified as male. Pero samtang ganda ko itong bata, pwede niya makuha ang feminine aspect sa iyang culture. So, dili pa sabot nga na akay pitoy, automatic imong gender kay boy na dayon. Tapos, di sa pa sabot nga na akay liki, girl na dayon ang imong gender. Generally, Persons of the female sex, regardless of culture, will eventually menstruate and develop breasts that can lactate. Ang akong mga pangandoy. Charot. Characteristics of gender, on the other hand, may vary greatly between different societies. For example, sa United States, it is considered feminine to wear a dress. Pero in some Middle Eastern Asian and African culture, dresses or skirts are considered masculine. So, tanan aspect sa imong gender kaya magdepende kung asa ka na tao o kung sa imong kultura nga nadakan. Pero kung sa Pinas pa, kung magsuot ka og duster dere, kung niya lalaki ka, sawayo na rin kanila o bayo. Maayo ba yung unta ang mga nanaway kay mga herbs? Kambras ba yung mga uwe? So, nakuha, dili parehas ang sex of gender managlahi kanya. Okay, nung man naman ta sa sex and gender, diretso na din ta sa sexual orientation. A person's sexual orientation is their physical, mental, emotional, and sexual attraction to a sex which are male and female. Na tayo pagka-carry sa sexual orientation and these are first, 
heterosexuality, the attraction of individuals of the other sex. The most common babae sa lalaki tapos uh, lalaki sa babae. Second, homosexuality, the attraction to individuals in the same sex. Ang lalaki makagusto sa lalaki tapos ang babae makagusto sa sa babae. Sana ko. Third, bisexuality, the attraction to individuals of either sex. Makagusto ka sa babae tapos makagusto po ka sa lalaki. Pero ug moingon kag bisexual ka, unya lud-on ka sa babae or wala kay physical, mental, emotional and sexual attraction sa babae. Ang buot pa sa na homosexual ka, dili ka bisexual. Again, homosexual and not bisexual. Kaso nang manggod, ang homosexuality is condemned by this not so perfect society. Mao nang uban, they are hiding under bisexuality para less judgment. Kay kapoy kay paminaw ni mga judgment ikan sa mga tao. Fourth and last is asexuality. No attraction to either sex. Possibly bani of course na ajoy mga ingani nga tao. Heterosexuals and homosexuals may also be referred to informally as straight and gay. Pero makapangutan na ng tao sa akin, ano lahi ang pagdawat sa society sa laing gender? Parehaan ni nga pangutan na. Ganos ani man hibalan nga baba, nga bayot ka or tomboy ka. Pero wa gyud na to nadungog ni nga pangutan na. Ganos ani man hibalan nga lalaki ka or babae ka. See? Society has its own norms and labels nga kung i-violate nimo kay mura na dayon kanila gina outcast. According to scientific understanding, individuals are usually aware of their sexual orientation between middle childhood and early adolescence. That's according to American Psychological Association on 2008. In addition, they do not have to participate in sexual activity of these emotional, romantic, and physical attractions. People can be celibate and still recognize their sexual orientation. But guys, remember, sexuality isn't a dichotomy of gay and straight, rather a continuum. But we can't deny that there's discrimination across genders and much of this discrimination is based on stereotypes and misinformations. Kung saan pag-upap ang discrimination? Wala po'y masuggest ng objective answer kay wala po'y pinabasa ng article about any or study. Pero kung ako lang kay nagdako man din kong bayot, i-dead ma'am. Kung dili madamag, madalag dead ma, sukli. Gamit ang imong kumo or matagluag leksyon ng mga transphobic and homophobic. Pero na akong nanotice na samtang magadako ka, mawala ang bullying and discrimination sa mutag na anak kay na human. Kay kung bata pang good ka, imong emotional stability kay dali ra nila tandugon. Whereas kung nagadako na ka, kabalo na ka magpalapos sa imong pikas tunggan. Ambot on say rationally ani pero mo ubi na akong nabantayan. So iya iya tag coping mechanisms ani. Basta wa lang tay git na makan nga tao. Tuloy ang buki. Sara. Samtang gadakota, makatunta sa mga nasadong balikot. In this socialization process, we are introduced to certain roles that are typically linked to our biological sex. Mao ni ang ginatawag nga gender roles. This refers to society's concept of how men and women are expected to look and how they should behave. These norms are based on norms or, or standards created by society. For example, panlalaking a role ang strength, aggression, and dominance. Kunya pambabaing a role ang positivity, nurturing, and subordination. Dagan pag example anong gender role para sa colors, sa sinina, sa mga hilig, sa mga gamit. Ipila lang isa. So we have arrived to one of the most crucial topics to discuss, gender identity. It is a person's deeply held internal perception of their gender. Again, internal perception walay labot ang physical. Individuals who identify with a role that is different from their biological sex are called transgender. It is not the same as homosexual and many homosexual males view both their sex and gender as male. 
Trans men are females who have such a strong emotional and psychological connection to the masculine aspects of society, while trans women are males who have such a strong emotional and psychological connection to the feminine aspects of society. So, klaro ho na to. Dili necessary ang surgery and hormonal therapy para mahimo kang trans man or trans woman. Again, strong emotional and psycho- psychological connection sa aspects of society. Dili labot ang physical aspects. But transgender individuals who attempt to alter their bodies through medical intervention such as surgery and hormonal therapy so that their physical being, again, physical being is better aligned with their gender identity are told transsexuals. But not all transgender individuals choose to alter their bodies. Na ay uban nga they maintain lang their original anatomy but present themselves as another gender. Unsa man nga mga presentations. It is by adapting to dress, hairstyle, mannerisms, or other characteristics typically assigned to another gender. But here is one of the most important things to note. Humankind who cross-dress or wear clothing that is traditionally assigned to gender different from their biological sex are not necessarily transgender. Why? Cross-dressing is typically a part of self-expression, entertainment, or personal style, and it is not necessarily an expression against one's assigned gender that's according to APA on 2008. Claro to, dili ta na naga cross-dress kay transgender. Expression ang cross-dressing and to know, dili sakit sa komunidad ang mahimong transgender. Ayaw ninyo silang tanawa nga nahi. Yes, they are unique. Pero dili sa features physically but emotionally and psychologically. I hope ha, after any, any nga discussion, na na dayon tay awareness. Dili na to kinahanglam sabto nga nung ing ani o nga nung ing ana. Kay dili me, dili ta lesson na kinahanglam stadihan or sabto. We are the most unique product of procreation. And one last thing, a straight man who is in love with a trans woman is still a straight man. Now we are going to discuss the theoretical perspectives on gender using four social paradigms. First is using structural functionalism. This argues that roles were established well before pre-industrial era when men typically took care of responsibilities outside of home like hunting and women typically took care of the domestic responsibilities in or around the home. Importante ang individual roles kay kung dili ma-fulfill sa mama or papa ilang role in the family, it might create dysfunction within the unit. So importante ilang individual roles and contribution. Second is conflict theory. According to this theory, society is a struggle for dominance among social groups that compete for scarce resources. Ginaingon pa ang mga kalistanan kay tungod sa mga pagpangdaog-daog o wala paghatag o equal rights. Third is feminist theory. This falls under conflict theory but this roughly examines inequalities in gender-related issues. Radical feminism considers the role of the family in perpetuating male dominance. Remember, we are still in a patriarchal society, meaning lagi hapoy male dominance sa education, healthcare, business, etc. Pero good to know that the society is dynamically changing and evolving. So naana tay makita na participation ug naga take up na og space ang laing gender sa society. Last to discuss for number four is symbolic interactionism. It aims to understand humankind behavior by analyzing the critical roles of symbols in human interaction. For example, ni adto ka sa bangko kay magloan ka, tapos ang loan officer kay lalaki. While you're having a convo, 
imong gi-present sa iya ha, sa, sa iya ha, imong kakayahan para magbayad, unsa imong means, mga hard resources para makonvince siya. Pero kung ang loan officer kay babae, tendency is mahimo kang emotional. I-present ni mo or isulti ni mo ang imong mga reasons para kag nagakonvince siya using your emotions. But take note that these meanings are just socially created and not natural. It is fluid and not static. For example, the word gay once meant cheerful. Pero katong 1960s, it carried the primary meaning of homosexual. Pero kadugayan sa name siyang careless or bright and showy. However, we must have this common ground that again, gender is fluid and it is not static. And we're done. And I hope that this episode does nothing to you but education. We are in a highly social world and our actions will well, affect the balance of our whole social ecosystem. Guys, we are moving forward so let's be more open to the dynamics of sex and gender. If we will not open our consciousness that we, that they exist, then you will forever be stuck. But as we see them, let us respect their expression. Kung hindi pa kaya magladlad, ayaw i-provoke, that it will only cause trauma. Kung closeted, wala yung problema. Daily tanan na ay kuso. Na yung mga factors nga nag-trigger sa ilaha para magtago sa for now. But eventually, they will come out free and beautiful. And before I end this, we are slowly getting the social equality we long. And that's because of the struggles and activism of our brothers and sisters who fought in the Stonewall riot. Having said this, bear this in mind that pride is political because pride is a protest. And with this, I want to show you some of the gender-neutral terms that we must use in our everyday conversations. These terms are important to avoid assumptions and maintain neutrality. Instead of policeman or policewoman, call them police officer. Instead of chairman or chairwoman, call them chair or chairperson. Instead of mailman, mailwoman, postman or postwoman, call them mail carrier, letter carrier or postal worker. Instead of businessman or businesswoman, call them business person. Instead of fireman or firewoman, call them firefighter. Instead of barman or barwoman, call them bartender. And lastly, instead of congressman or congresswoman, call them uaya bitin of kwakmin. <laughs> call them representative or state representative. It's very important to acquaint ourselves with these gender-neutral terms and quit saying he or she or his or her. Use the gender-neutral pronoun they. They is already registered as a third-person singular pronoun. Huwag sa makausap Basta wa lang tayo gitamakan na tao. Huwag wa ta nakapasakit sa atong isig kaingon. Tuloy ang buki. Huwag maura to. Punta na mo nakatunan sa itong episode karon. Ugasi ang kamot, isuot ang mask, o distansya. Sa sa mga tao nga wakagusto sa atwa para likay kita sa virus o pagkadismaya. Wakpay vaccine, amego amega, maong pagligun diha. Don't forget to subscribe and hit the notification button. Kung gusto mo pang pagod vibes na vlog, visit Benji Martinez's channel. Kung gusto mo og guapa with beauty tips, visit an Hanel Jane Ehusas channel. And for artworks, visit Aries Art. Pero kung gusto mo og prangka gihapon, na discussion o prangka nga friend, maintain mo din. Once again, this is Rap, ang yung prangka nga friend, saying langga. Dili ka sa'yo.